I have a list of nine different AI tools that I think are pretty underrated, really useful AI tools. And I think even if you're like me and really deep into AI, there's a couple tools here that you haven't used before. Okay, I'll start with Poe here on my list at poe.com. And Poe is the most popular on my list, so you may have used it before. But what Poe is, is a chatbot aggregate. It gives you access to all the top chatbots, so all the different versions of ChatGPT, all the different versions of Claude, Llama, all the popular ones you could use here with the same accounts. But all you do is type in your message, and this will use an AI chatbot. So by default, it uses the assistant chatbot, that's the one that Poe has. But if you go to the Explore tab here, instead of using this assistant one, you could choose different ones. They have a web search one, they have Claude, they have GPT-40, this is running ChatGPT, the reasoning model inside of ChatGPT. So you can see all these different models are available and to use any of them. So if I wanna use this one, I just click it and I could start a new chat here. Couple of the models, including the reasoning models, from OpenAI. This one, 01, it says subscriber access. So the ones that require subscriber access, they're gonna have this right here. But the other ones that don't have that, you could actually use them for free. But what's really interesting is this also has models for generating images. So if I go to the image generation tab, Flux is an incredible text to image AI generator. This is Flux Ultra, so this one's gonna require a subscription, but they have other ones that don't require a subscription that you could explore too. So if I come down here, here's another version of Flux that says just official, but it's free to use. There's one from Google here. So you could explore, and this is my favorite thing about this, and this is the main reason why this is number one on my list right now. Create Bot, this tab right here, takes you to a place where you could create different bots for image generation for prompt. So if you've seen my custom GPT videos, or Claude projects, those are basically mini chatbots that are powered by those tools where you give it your own instructions and your own knowledge base. Well, this has the exact same thing. This prompt box right here, you could name it, and then you could choose which model you want to use to power it. So if you wanna use a custom GPT, for example, you use this. If you wanna use a Claude project, you use Claude 3.5 Sonnet and then that will power this chatbot. Your custom instructions will go over here, so you could really fine tune these. And then your knowledge base will go here. It has a greeting message, and you could even monetize these, which is something the other platforms don't allow you to do. So if you feel like you got a really good chatbot with a really unique knowledge base, well, you could turn on a paywall over here. I actually covered this in a different video on how to actually set this up. And then you just create that bot from here. And again, when people go to the Explore tab, you could see some official ones, but there are plenty of unofficial ones. You could see these are not something an open AI company or Anthropic or those type of companies made. This is just a user, and you can see how many users it has. So pretty powerful platform, but let's get to the next one on the list. Okay, this next one is kind of mind-blowing. This is called Wonder Studio, and I come from a filmmaking background. I've had a video production company for 15 years, so this one was one of the first ones I tested out when it came out. It completely blows my mind. So the way this works here, I'm gonna show you here with an example. I'm gonna just go ahead and press play. So here is just a video clip of a person. So you could shoot this on your iPhone, for example. And then what you could do is you could choose from a list of CG characters. These are computer generated characters. And then you could just grab one of them, drag it on top of your actor like this, and then your actor will become that character. So here's a quick example, same video clip, but now I just replaced the actor with that CGI character, right? This, just telling you from the background in filmmaking, this was a very expensive, very time consuming process. And I just did it in a couple of minutes here using their character library. Now here's another example. This time it was a shot of two people talking and only one of them was replaced. So just imagine the possibility from a business perspective you could create commercials that look like a million bucks just using this tool. Now, the next one I wanna share with you is the sponsor for today's video called NVIDIA AI, which I've covered many times on this channel, but they just released a brand new version, version three, which actually generates the video using AI completely from scratch. So it takes a text prompt into a complete AI generated video. So let me show you this 30 second little commercial I made just from a single text prompt. And this is straight out of the box. This was no editing and no revisions. Meet RoboPause, the cutest tech buddy your child will ever have. I love you, RoboPause. RoboPause responds to touch, voice, and even learns new tricks. 
With its adorable expressions and easy-to-use app, it's more than a toy. It's a true companion. Robopause, your child's new best friend. Order now at robopause.com. Okay, so every piece of that, including the voiceover, including the script, including all the shots where AI generated. Okay, the way this works is this is gonna use version three, which just came out, which uses generative media. It generates things that don't exist previously. Version two, use pretty high quality stock footage. So you had access to stock footage libraries. So you can still use that. That one actually has a free version of that plan. This generative media, you have to upgrade to a plan. And then what's really nice is this has a whole option available called workflows, which shows you all the different things you could do with this platform. For example, you could create ads. I created an ad just for this one using that simple text prompt, but you could create ads and it will show you what kind of platform you could make it for. So you could go to regular size YouTube videos, but you could also go to vertical format, short format stuff for TikTok and Instagram. And they have a ton of different examples of all kinds of different things you could do with this. So this is a great place to start. Or if you just wanna use this prompt box, type in a prompt. And your prompts could be very simple. Like this time I'm gonna say, create a YouTube video showcasing a restoration of an old Mustang and you just go ahead and generate, but you have up to 32,000 characters. So you could put in a whole bulk of a script over here, for example, but I'm just gonna start here. Now, this generates an entire video for you in a few minutes. It's gonna have voiceover like I showed you in the previous example. But what I really like about this is if you don't like something, you just press edit right over here. This brings you to this entire edit page where if you don't like any specific shots here, you could just click on that shot and then you could regenerate just that shot. So if I go to generate media, I could just click this and describe that one specific scene or that specific shot over here and just generate that one clip. And it's gonna show you your previous generations like I made this other video here. So all this is available and then when you're done and then you apply any changes that you want, just press download right here and it will download it. And you could always come back to this project to make revisions to it. So one of the reasons why I was really excited about this is this now only takes an idea that you just need to flush out into a couple of sentences and this does so much of the work for you. And then you could then edit it too, which is really critical because a lot of tools, they just generate, but if you can't edit, if you can't fine tune, even though this does a pretty good job right off the bat, here's a few other examples too that I created. And you could try InVideo AI for free, but if you wanna use their generative capabilities, I highly recommend that you upgrade to the generative plan that starts at $96 a month. And that's the one I had that I used in this video. And that gives you the most bang for your buck with 15 generative minutes. And obviously, if you know anything about the video creation process, this will save you hundreds of dollars because you avoid spending money on things like editing, animating, other production costs. And if you're already an InVideo AI user, you could just go to the add-on section and buy generative seconds. Next, I got a couple of different tools for business owners and entrepreneurs and founders. So this one is gonna generate a business name for us using AI. And it's very, very easy to use. This is actually one of those tools that I was using before ChatGPT. So I have an AI education platform, so I'm gonna just type in that as the keyword here. And then it's gonna actually help you refine it a little bit more. So do you wanna choose from all the different styles or do you want a brandable name like Google? Do you want a short phrase? Okay, I'll just choose auto here just to show you the different variations you could get. It's gonna take you to randomness here. I'm gonna choose medium. And then you could give it more brand info over here, including a description. These are all the different names that it comes up with. And I really like how it just kind of generates things like this, where you could kind of get a feeling for what that brand could look like. For example, Learn AI is an option. Pioneer AI is a good one. Artificial Academy, that's a good one. And when you click on one, you could actually purchase these logos from here too. So this does technically make logos for you. I have another logo creator so i usually just use this for the name generation and then what's really nice about it too is if i go back to this previous page some of these you could click on this domain and see if that domain is available too and it's going to take you to some kind of a domain provider the com is available it will show that right on top if you don't want to create your logo here we use the next tool to create our logo okay the next tool on the list is called logo ai logo ai.com and we're going to go ahead and create our logo so this one i'm going to just choose the name we picked before artificial academy is pretty cool let's go to next now i'm going to choose education but i could probably use technology too but since this is an education platform we'll pick that color scheme i want this to be modern so we'll pick that 
Wow, a lot of these actually look really good. I, I kind of like this one here. Between Namelix, which also gives you logo ideas and logo AI, this is a great way to get a business up and running, right? For ideation for the name, which I always found very difficult before these AI tools came up. Oh, that has some even some animation to it. And you could go ahead and press edit on it. And you could see some very close variations to it here on the left side. So you could see if I don't like this icon, I could go ahead and change that. I could change the symbol over here. I could change the layout. And then when I'm happy with it, I could go ahead and buy it. Let's see how much it is. And it has a couple of different pricing options. So if you just want the transparent PNG, which you obviously want that for a logo. That is 29 bucks, 59 bucks if you want everything else, including Vector. And they have this other thing that has brand center and AI branding and all kinds of other stuff. So this is actually pretty good. Usually you want the Vector file to be able to take it a little bit further here. Okay, the next one on my list is called Quillbot. And this might be the very first AI tool I used maybe three, four years ago. And the reason why I really like this is even though some of these things you could do right inside of ChatGPT, it just makes it a whole lot easier. And it has a Chrome extension here that kind of follows you around and you could turn it into the sidebar here that you could just use like this on any page on the web. So I really like that this takes place. I don't have to open the ChatGPT app or go to the website. I could just do it here. So you just type in some text over here and I'm using the completely free plan. And then this will help you rephrase that text. So right there, it rephrased it for me using just the standard mode, but they have ton of different modes. So you could rephrase it for fluency or make it formal. You could expand on it. And it has all these available with just one click. Some of the premium options are cool. So if you look on the left side, I'm just using the paraphraser, which this is how I originally used Quillbot over the years but they have other stuff that they've rolled out. So they have a grammar checker, obviously a useful tool, but they have an AI detector. So you could paste some text right here. Let's try this. I'm gonna paste some text, analyze. And I wrote this text myself. So 0% of this text is likely AI generated. You could generate citations here. So you could type in something from a URL and it will generate the citation. So well worth exploring. And I highly recommend you get this little Chrome extension. So then you could open it up like this. So when you go to a website, it's just sitting here, press paraphrase and it will do the work for you. Let me just show you what that looks like on the side and you get it right over here. So then you could copy it just from over here and take it wherever you want. Okay, the next one on my list just recently came out called Napkin AI. And this is one of the most practical tools I found because I'm a visual explainer right? But a lot of times creating videos, even with AI tools, that's a lot of work. And I just want to use a simple graphic to explain what I'm talking about. I literally just use this to show our user flow on our website and explain to the developer exactly the different things that were going on with it. And this has a completely free plan as well. And the way it works is you could press the plus sign on top and draft with AI, which will create you an entire blog post if you want to use it for that. So I'm going to generate a funnel showcasing how you could convert cold traffic on the web into paying customers, something obviously all business owner marketers tend to do. So this writes this blog post over here, which is fine. This is useful, but ton of tools that could do this part. We could do this inside of ChatGPT. So as soon as it's done, I'm gonna show you why I really like this, okay? This is showing me this awareness step, right? So if I select this portion of the text, I'm gonna select right here, and I'm gonna click this option right here, over here to generate visual to go along with this post. And look at this, this created all these different variations. So this is a funnel, so this makes a lot of sense. Usually the ones on top are more related. So I like this one, but then you could change the style. So this is the default style, but these are the other styles. So depending on what you want and what your initial draft looks like, you could choose. So this one actually is pretty good. And there you go. Now, if you don't want to use this platform at all for the blog part of it, all you have to do is select this image right over here and I'll just download it right here. It downloads as a PNG. I could choose it if it's on dark mode or light mode. I could remove the background here, make it transparent. I could change the resolution and I could do this with entire sections as well. So if I want this entire section from top all the way to step six, I'll select all of it and I'll click this. That wasn't a specific to that one paragraph or that one section. This is for my entire post. So this becomes my hero banner 
or hero image if I'm posting this on WordPress, for example. Very, very interesting tool. And I wanna finish with a new Google tool that just came out. This is at labs.google. And Notebook LM is obviously not underrated. This is one of the most popular apps available right now in the world of AI. So if you haven't used this before, just search my channel for a Notebook LM video and definitely use this. This is just an incredible free tool from Google. But they have a bunch of other ones here and I've covered some of these before, but this one is very interesting. And I only put it in this video because I think it has a lot of potential. So it's kind of new, so I can't really say it's underrated because many people Pretty much no one knows it exists yet. But what it does is it looks like you're inside of ChatGPT or any other tool, right? This is a chat box right here. You could type in any prompt. But the way it responds is very interesting. So if I wanna learn about black holes here, especially for education purposes, so it's responding right now like any other AI chatbot, but look at how the formatting looks. It's gonna bring images from actual sources on the internet. It's gonna break down things in a more educational format. And then right here, it's gonna make it really simple for you to go deeper, to simplify it. And I think a lot of the use case for these type of chatbots are gonna be if they're narrow and niche enough for a very specific use case, in this case, learning a new thing. Even though you could kinda, of, you know, with prompting, just continue in a conversation in any chatbot, you're not gonna get a format like this, interactive list like this, images like this, the ability to double check the response in Google like this. Obviously, I spent most of my time teaching new things, so I like something like this to help me through my research, help me find resources on the web. So from all the tools available out there that are new, I think this one has the most potential. So I wanted to end with this one for this video. As usual, let me know your favorite and let me know if you like these listicle videos. I'm trying to make more of these because I could introduce you to a bunch of new AI tools at once. Thanks again for NVIDIA AI for sponsoring this video. I'll catch you on the next one.